Hi everyone, it's Chris here from OPMC. And today we're going to talk about how best to respond to an e-commerce fraud incident. If you're an e-commerce store owner, you know how important it is to stay on top of your fraud prevention. It's easy to get bogged down in the day-to-day -day operations of your business, but when it comes to fraud detection and prevention, you need to make sure that someone is watching the store from a bird's eye view. Fraud can come in many different forms, such as chargebacks or wire transfer reversals. The key is to ensure you have a system in place so that when it does happen, you experience the least possible damage to your operations and business revenue. The most important thing is to not panic. When a fraud incident occurs, you may feel like the sky is falling and your site will never be the same again. But remember that this isn't the end of the world. It's just an unfortunate event that needs attention for your site to be secure and stay open for business. So what is e-commerce fraud? Well, it's the act of defrauding a merchant or retailer using online payment methods. Fraudulent transactions cost e-commerce businesses billions of dollars annually. So it's essential to understand what types of fraud you may encounter and how to prevent them from happening on your site. Some of the more common types of e-commerce fraud include chargeback fraud, for example, and this is when a customer disputes a legitimate charge on their credit card. Another one is account takeover. Anytime a cyber criminal gains access to a customer's account, there's also friendly fraud, and this is when a customer intentionally claims that a product was never received or was defective to receive a refund or replacement. There's also phishing scams, how fraudsters send emails or text messages to customers that appear to be from your business so they can attempt to obtain sensitive information from customers. Also, identity theft, when fraudsters obtain personal information such as a customer's name, address and credit card details and use that information to make fraudulent purchases or open new credit accounts. What about bot attacks, using automated scripts or bots to carry out a large number of fraudulent transactions in a short period of time, overwhelming the e-commerce site security measures and resulting in financial loss? And you know there's many more, I'm getting tired just thinking about them to be honest. Was, what about the importance of a response plan? You know, having a response plan in place is crucial to the success of your e-commerce business. Not only will it help mitigate the damage caused by fraud, but it also ensures that you're prepared for any scenario and can act quickly when needed. The basic idea of your plan should be to identify the fraud, contact the correct people, mitigate financial losses, and then adjust so this doesn't happen again in the future. I think the first thing we've got to consider is discovering the fraud. But well, when you discover a fraud incident, it's important that your team knows how to respond in a way that will minimize the damage and recover from it quickly. The first step is to have a fraud detection system in place so that you're aware of any suspicious activity as soon as possible. You know, fraudsters generally try to hide their activities by making them look like normal customer behavior and paying for their purchases with stolen credit cards or gift cards. If a customer seems too good to be true, it may be worth investigating further before approving their order. The best way to do this is with a robust security tool. We use security for WooCommerce as a plugin that evaluates each transaction and assigns a numerical value for whether it is safe or fraudulent. This is a learning tool that will ensure you lower the risk of damage to your online store, as well as block IPs and regions of the world that may be dangerous. Okay, so what about assessing the damage? Well, as soon as you confirm that there's been a breach, it's time to assess the damage. This step is crucial in determining how best to respond and move forward. You've got to assess the financial loss too, and the first thing you want to do is determine how much money was stolen from your company by hackers or any other criminal activity. 
You can do this by reviewing sales reports for products that were purchased using fraudulent payment methods, as well as looking at the other records related directly to those transactions, such as shipping addresses and also the actual credit card systems records too. Once you know exactly how much money has been lost due to fraudulent related activities, it's time to start thinking about how those losses will affect business operations moving forward. This step may require some additional research into what options are available for recovering lost funds through insurance policies or legal channels. This will matter for your customer service in future. Now, how about isolating the issue? Now that you have the information on what happened and how much damage was done, you should be able to isolate the situation. This may mean initiating new policies, adding an IP or area to your block list, or speaking with your payment processor to prevent future orders with similar attributes. We've also got to make sure we tell the right people about this. Notify your payment processor. It's probable that they've already notified you of the problem, but if you're using a third-party payment processor like Stripe or PayPal, let them know about the fraud incident as soon as possible so they can investigate and block further attempts to use the stolen cards. Notify authorities if necessary. If this isn't your first rodeo with fraudulent charges on your e-commerce site, or if you suspect that there might be more than one person involved in stealing user data, it might be worth reaching out to law enforcement officials who could help investigate further. We also want to notify customers who have been affected by this breach or fraudulent activity and any others who may be at risk. As soon as possible after discovering an attack on your site, send out an email alerting customers whose information may have been compromised during the breach. And you just don't know until you've done a full investigation. You want to immediately institute fraud prevention tools on your WooCommerce site, like using our custom plugin for security, as well as speak with your payment processor. Most of the major providers will have built-in security enhancements that you can turn on to prevent future fraudulent transactions. We also have written extensively on other tips to help. You can look at our recent YouTube video covering the topic in detail, which we'll put in the link below. To conclude on all of this, if you're watching this, and just received a fraud alert, it's important to stay calm. Don't make any rash decisions and don't blame yourself or anyone else for what has happened. The benefit of hindsight is really powerful. And now if it has happened, then you know what to do. Be prepared to act quickly and decisively. Your ability to respond effectively will help minimize the damage done by the incident. We hope this has helped you understand the various types of fraud and how to respond when it happens. If you're just starting out as an e-commerce business owner, there are many tools available to help prevent fraud before it happens. You should also consider investing in some type of insurance policy or merchant protection plan that covers losses due to fraud or theft at checkout. And with a little preparation, you should be all set to boost your earnings and give your customers greater peace of mind when shopping at your store especially in the lead up to Black Friday. Well, that's all from me. If you liked this video, give it the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it the thumbs up. Tell us why, but please, if you can subscribe to our channel, we'd love to have you on board and it will encourage us to make even better content now and in the future. Well, that's all from me. Thanks everyone.